workshop. Let me ask you, like, uh, we talked to Coach Bartridge and then we talked to Dwayne on Tuesday. They talked about um, you guys taking risks up front. That was one thing Coach Bartridge said about you yeah. specifically taking risks. What, what does that mean? What does it take? Um, as a freshman, you have a little less leeway is what you do because you don't know when you do something that's not directly planned by the coaches, it adds a risk to every other player on the defense that can affect everyone in a specific way. So once you learn the defense and learn what you, what you do and what kind of risk it causes around everybody else, if you take that risk, you know whether it's taking an inside move, they need to bend back around and get vertical and not just taking an inside move. And then the whole, say, left side of the uh, defense opens up for a quarterback to roll out and be able to pass ball on the run. So if you take an inside move, fix that to contain the pocket, but open up for a pass rush, those kind of risks. So they're trusting you to do those kind of things? Yeah, now that I've experienced as a freshman and I know different type of actions have different risks and consequences, and I've learned how to fix them, they trust me to do that and make plays with it, which allows you to make more plays and you have a little more free with Of course, you got the linebackers, experienced linebackers behind you. Yeah, and the experienced Cover. linebackers are fixing us now, and if we're, if we're direct with our decision, they're playing directly off of us and moving full speed, and it's no hesitating between any of us. Imagine as a player, you love having that freedom or that ability to make decisions there. Yeah, as a freshman, like I said, which we all understood because it was our first year of Partridge, so we were still learning him. That was my first year playing, so I was learning a lot. It's you have to do this and just do your job. Don't try to do other stuff because you'll make bigger problems. But now with that freedom and knowing that I can do it, it allows me to make more plays as long as I correct myself when I need to on those risks. Okay. Um, spring practice is a head start to fall camp. It um, lets the coaches know where we we're at with our bodies uh, when we've been lifting in the beginning of the year before spring, and it lets them know about our knowledge that you can practice once the season's over, and uh, tendencies and watching tape and things that allow you to be a better player. It just it, it gauges where you're at before you come into camp because coaches don't see us when we're not on the field. We're just with the strength strength coaches. Yeah. You know, I guess as far as intensity goes, where does this, you know where does it compare to a practice you guys may have you know during fall camp or you know during a random October going into a game week? Spring, uh, it's a little less. Uh, obviously, we only practice on the field twice, and then we have a scrimmage, so I, it's uh, everybody's energetic. But during camp, I feel like we're the same way. During the season, Tuesdays are really intense practice, but then later on the week it goes down as we go into just uppers and then just helmets on Thursday. So everyone's intense, but I think we're always, as a defense, we're, we're definitely working on and continuing to uh, be intense during the whole practice from start to end and uh, kind of building that in our culture to play with speed and excitement the whole practice. How different has this spring been for you having gotten the experience that you did last year? Um, more fun. We make plays and every practice, everyone's telling you you're out there balling or you had a good day, or even when you didn't have a good day, you know it's stuff that you can fix little and it's not like big things that you're like, I just don't understand it. Like you're new to college football and you're like, it's so much different than high school, but it's little things that the next day you fix and you're just out there making plays. And it's, it's obviously more fun when you make plays and everyone around you, it brings energy to the defense and the whole defense starts making plays and it just turns practice up. What's the di big difference for you this season compared to last spring? Um, definitely just not worrying about um, staying on the outside and just, like I said, staying on the outside and not worrying about anything else and just stay there. But getting vertical and taking risks if the old lineman is overreaching me hard, I'm inside fast and then fixing the risk and making a TFL or a sack. And it's just uh, being quick with my decisions and not hesitant. Any goals for yourself this year? Um, I, I want to be the best D lineman on the team and in the country, defensive end, and that's the same for the rest of my teammates. Dwayne wants to be the best defensive end in the country. So if we are competing against each other every day, we're going to make each other better, and we want to be the best pair of defensive ends in the ACC. Like when teams cut on the tape, it's kind of like, uh, which is applaud to them, the NC State team last year, they had seniors on that D line. We watched them, and we want to be like them. Our other teams will watch them. So that's our goal for when teams watch us after our first game this year, that they know we're about business and that you, they're- You and Dwayne are gonna be bookends, right? Uh, I don't even know what that means, honestly. Uh, I'm either end. Both you know. sides. Both but, sides. Oh, uh, yeah, I can play either like, side. No, but he's, when you, when you eventually line up, you'll line up on one side, you'll line up on the other. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, well, I was curious, what is being the first non-quarterback taken in your last draft? Uh, yesterday to you as a player, what does that kind of signal to you as far as what your teammates think of you and what uh, you might be able to have? That they've just noticed that I've put in the work and I've gotten better and 
a couple of the players said, like, uh, that person that's not a senior, not a quarterback, I was the next biggest threat for the team to have to deal with in the spring game. And I mean, I, I take that as a compliment from them. And I just got to prove it on Saturday and make sure my pick was worth it and get the win for the blue squad. <laughs> Anything about for Rashad? Heard you a lot. Good. <laughs> I'll be in here if we have a vegetable plate. Sounds like a Chipotle day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you lobbying to play some tight end yesterday. You get any traction on that front? Coach Salem told me if I get four sacks, I can get an offensive play. But there, <laughs> Coach Watson said if I would have got drafted by him, I would have got a tight end rep. But, so now I got to get four sacks, and you might see me out there in the screen game. So that's my mission. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs>